What's up guys? Um, as you can see here, this is just my fingerboarding box I got from the dollar store, and I think it was only two dollars, not even. Um, I just got this to hold all my fingerboarding stuff, so I'm just going to give you a little look at what I have for fingerboarding. Um, I'll also try to show you some of my equipment that I use for fingerboarding. Sorry about that, I had to get something. But yeah, so I guess I'll just uh, start off. If you don't know, I film off my iPhone 5. I don't have a camera or anything like that. I did, but I sold it because I got out of the whole YouTube thing, but now I'm starting to get back into it. So yeah, um, so I use my iPhone 5, and right now I'm holding this camera away on my iPhone 5, maybe a foot and a half away, and you can see how close it is. So I use this lens when I record fingerboarding, which really messes up the quality, but it's just what I have to do to, uh, you know, get everything in shot. So as you can see, well, if I can show you, I will show you what it looks like like that. And then I will put the lens over it, and you can see how much it widens. So right there to there. So that's why my quality is bad in my videos, because I film off the front camera. But anyways, so here's my box. I tried to peel out the sticker, but failed horribly, so I'm going to have to use some to scrape that off. And I have some broken knuckle fingerboard stickers on here. I'm not sponsored by them at all. It's just I like their stuff, and I have a lot of their stickers. Whoops. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's got two snaps. All right, let's take a look. So right here I have some little tech deck tools. Um, you, I usually get one every time I buy a wooden fingerboard. It just comes with it sometimes. So I have a lot of them. I have another one over here on my stand, and as well as an Allen key for my trucks, I mean my wheels. Here I just have some like three pieces of grip or so, maybe four, yeah, four grip. Two pre-cut and two uncut. So that's just where I keep those. Here. I have trucks. Most of them have wheels in there. I think they all do actually. So yeah, those are just on my trucks that I haven't used. Some of them don't have washers or anything like that in them or bushings. So yeah, they're just kind of stuck in there. Here I have some extra screws so I can screw my uh, the trucks onto the boards. I prefer these little silver ones that I get from eBay because they're longer than those black ones. So I'm for sure going to screw it onto the board so it'll work fine. Here's all my little extra uh, bushings, as you can see. I don't have a lot. I only have like three real ones, and that one's off a of tech deck. But yeah, they're all on my boards, on my boards that I use. So yeah, I just keep the extra ones in there. Everything's pretty empty around here. It's just I don't really have a lot of stuff. I guess I can come over here and show you all my stickers. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see, I don't know if I can get them all out. But I can. No, oh, there we go. I got them all. As you can see here, these are all my stickers from Broken Knuckle because I buy a lot of their fingerboards, and I always ask for extra stickers. So yeah, there's all my stickers I have from them. That's why they're all over the place. All right, so let's go ahead and look at my decks. Um, here I have a tech deck. Yeah, you can see it says Con on the bottom. Uh, I did that with a sharpie and whatnot because me and my friend started a fingerboarding. I guess you could say team or company called Convey Fingerboards or Convey. So I just wrote Con on it. Just on an old tech deck because that's when I first started getting back into fingerboard. And I put a mouse pad on top of it. So yeah. I never realized how small tech decks are. But yeah. I can't do anything with this. It's missing a wheel. I don't even know where the wheel went to. So yeah. I'm just going to lay that up to the side. So here's my board I use right now. It's broken knuckle. I'm not going to get too much into it. I have a what's my setup thing. And another video so you can go check that out so yeah that's my current setup that I always use this one right here is one I'm actually selling you can see my video for fingerboard sale or trade and yeah you can buy this as is except for these trucks are gonna be black actually it'll have these trucks on there I think but I might change the wheels for some white ones or something like that I'm not exactly sure maybe red but yeah here's how oh, we're out of focus yeah, that's good enough. But yeah, these are the trucks that would be coming on that board. So yeah. Um, so as you can see here, I have multiple blank decks. These are just from China off of eBay. Pretty low kicks, pretty low concave. Um, I'm not exactly sure the width. I want to say 30 millimeters. I'm not exactly sure. No, they're probably 29. So yeah, 29 millimeters. I sand it off the bottom, but they're all blank, so I have one of those, and here's another one, 
this one I didn't sand and actually has grip tape on it, brand new grip, I just haven't used it. So yeah, I might be giving some of these away or selling them because they're in still perfect condition. They're really good boards. It's just that I have all these other ones that I use and I don't need these. They're just taking up space. So uh, as you can see, it's got like a red ply, different colored plies in there. It's really nice. So yeah, if anybody wants these, inbox me and let me know. I might sell them or something. So here's another broken knuckle fingerboard. It is 30 millimeters wide. As you can see, it's kind of dirty. Um, there's really nothing wrong with this. It's just I got my new one in the mail, and I don't really use these ones anymore. These two because they are 30 millimeters, and this one's 32, and I'm just better with 32. So I might paint this one as well, clean it up real nice so it looks new, and sell it. So I don't know. I might keep it for when me and my friend we have a project going on right now. So I might paint what we have going on in the bottom, and then we might try to sell that. So I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, good deck right here. And here is another broken knuckle fingerboard. As you can see, I sharpie the bottom and said VA because I'm from Richmond, Virginia. So yeah, um, still has grip on it. It's kind of shredded, but yeah. Um, it should have a, yeah, right there it has a chip. Sorry my camera's out of focus, but I'm holding it with one hand so I can't really focus it. But it has a chip because I shot it with my airsoft gun and thinking nothing would happen, but it chipped it. So yeah, um, pretty much hung this one up after I shot it because it has a chip in it. But this one's also 30 millimeters. So, I had some try to sell these two. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this is 32. I'm not, I'm no good with 30 millimeters anymore after I use that. So, yeah, I'm just probably going to keep this one lying around as a memento kind of thing. And here is my final deck. It's another one of those Chinese ones over there. Um, it's all right. It's just when I got it. As you can see, the line right there has a horrible mold mark in it, so I never even use this one. And it still has the original grip on it. As you can see, it's pretty bad and pretty rough. Um, it's not very grippy. I can't. I couldn't even do anything with it. So yeah, I just keep these lying around in case I want to try um, different ways to put graphics on boards. That's what these are for. I just figure if I want to try to put a graphic on, I can just try it on one of these. They're all perfectly fine except for this one that has the mold mark. But yeah, if uh, what I will do though is if somebody wants me to do like a custom paint job on them or something like that, I can paint one for you. And you just send me the money and I'll send this to you. So yeah, you would pay for shipping because I don't know how much you'd be, but yeah, that'd be included in the price for the fingerboard. So yeah, if you want me to do a custom paint job, I will gladly do that. And as you can see, just so you can get some kind of idea of how good I am, um, that's one that I painted. It's just a tree, it's kind of hard to see. I can't focus it that well, but uh, yeah, there we go. But yeah, just really try to keep it as detailed as possible. And here's another one that I painted. Just my, it looks kind of rough as you can see, but it's because I've been using it a lot, so it's pretty scratched. We yeah, have lacquered and everything, that's what you get. All right, guys, so as you can see, this is my whole setup. You're not supposed to see that right there because I have a, a logo going on there that you're not allowed to see it's top secret stuff right now so yeah this is all my fingerboard stuff so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time